Let's go over the parts of a bow saw in which there are four of them. This is a type of bow saw. Some look different. Uh, you could also see that this one has a muzzle on it to uh, protect us from the sharp blade. But underneath the muzzle is the blade. This whole part is called the frame. Here's the adjustment. You could pull it back and you could adjust or replace the blade that way. And this part of the frame is the handle. And you just hold it like this. And it's that simple. Only four parts to a bow saw. Bow saws are good to be used for uh, trees uh, and rounded stumps like that. There are a couple of vocabulary terms. Um, there's the sender and the receiver. The sender is the person who gives the tool to somebody and that somebody who receives the tool is called the receiver. To be courteous is always polite to hand anything, especially a tool, where the receiver will grasp it by the handle. Okay, you don't want to hand them the sharp part. And of course that could go with a hammer, a screwdriver, and same thing with a pencil. You don't want to point the sharpened end of the pencil to somebody. Whenever you're passing a tool to anybody, you want to make sure that you're looking at them straight in the eye. Here's how you properly pass a bow saw. So remember, you always want to give it so that the receiver could grasp it by the handle. So remember, the side that has the adjustment on it is the side that has the handle. And you're holding it on the other side of the frame like this, or like that doesn't really matter as long as you have a good grip on it. And you just pass it straight across, no crisscrossing, eye contact, you say ready, they say thank you, you, you say you're welcome, and you let go. Here's how you properly carry a bow saw. You want to make sure that it's muzzled, like this, and then you grasp it by the handle, and you drop it down to your side, next to your leg, and then you just walk.